So one of the things that I love on this channel is talking to people about their supply chain careers and how they got into supply chain. And this week, we are very lucky to have Ariane with us. And I'm going to talk about her fascinating journey into supply chain because she started life as a lawyer. And that's coming right up. So welcome, Ariane. Now, let me see if I can pronounce your name correctly. Ariane Fernanda Mbazele. Yeah, that's right. Close. Close. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome. You've got a fascinating uh, career background. Uh, when we first started talking, you were studying uh, in France supply chain. But tell us a little bit about what you studied originally and where you started your career. Uh, originally, I started my career in a, in Cameroon as a as a lawyer uh, because I had a bachelor's degree in law. So uh, I initially uh, studied in law and I worked for one year in a legal firm. But I was more interested in um, company uh, matters, so that's how I started my journey into um, into into business because I was more interested in. In that part, so uh, I tried to to look some some information about um, business matters. I was um, I I had to to move to Senegal to um, to to start my 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 career into uh, into business because in in Cameroon I couldn't find some um, good schools and where I could really find myself comfortable. So I I moved to Senegal where. Um, I had the, the opportunities to to integrate a, a school where I, I started um, my my studies in um, management and I got more interested in supply chain. So what, what was the what was the attraction with supply chain? Because I mean it, that's fascinating. I mean most people would really get a sense of achievement having finished a law degree, but then you you're in law for a year and you think oh, actually, supply chain is more interesting. That must have been quite challenging. And, and, and is supply chain as interesting as you thought it would be? Um, how I started getting an interest in supply chain was, um, first of all, by um, a, a kind of mentor for me, because when I, I started into my path into business, I was uh, a little bit lost. I didn't know... Um, which part of business I, I really wanted to, uh, to get interested in. So uh, during my, my studies in, in Senegal, I, I got to meet uh, some people who, with whom I, I talked and who, uh, who gave me advice. And um, I met one person particularly who, who gave me some uh, information about supply chain, her passion about supply chain, how she, she talked about supply chain. So I, I went looking for, for information and I discovered that supply chain was a, a really interesting field that was a rapidly growing and a, a promising field for the, for the future. And um, also it didn't require um, a specific background. So I found myself uh, comfortable without moving from law I, I knew that I could uh, develop some skills in supply chain, having a background in law already as a supply chain uh, provides several, um, several career mm -hmm. paths and, uh, and roles such as procurement, for example, that has a, a connection with law. So I, I, I saw that it wasn't really uh, difficult for me to, to integrate the, the field of supply chain which made it um, easier for me. Mm. And, uh, oh, and, I, and I knew that, yeah, I could uh, develop these skills and um, the, the skill uh, supply chain required. And yeah, that's how I started being interested in supply chain. That's an amazing combination. I, I don't know many people. I'm, I'm struggling to think of people who have a, a law degree as well as a supply chain degree. And I, I think, as you say, in procurement particularly, that's a really interesting combination. You get into contracting and so on. So uh, you're just finishing up your – what, what, what degree is it that you're studying in supply chain? It's a master's, isn't it? Uh, yeah, um, a master's degree, uh, specifically in MSc in the global supply chain management. Well, wow. And you're doing that in France? Uh, 
That's that's amazing. Yeah, in France. Yeah, yeah in France. So let me ask you. Um, I don't know if this is a politically correct question or not, but it's one that always interests me. Um, I'm always disappointed at the low uptake of women in supply chain. Um, you know, if we, if we look at the supply chain uh, industry, I, I, th I think, you know, there would be barely 20% female participation in the industry. What have you seen at university? I, I imagine when you study law, there's quite, uh, quite a gender mix. But when you get into supply chain, do you, do you find less women studying that subject? Uh, actually, during my uh, my path into supply chain, I found that there were there were not so many women in um, in the field of supply chain, mm -hmm. and it was quite a, at first it was a a little bit a barrier for me mm -hmm. because when I even around me when I started talking about supply chain, people were like, it's for men, not yeah. uh, for women. So people mm -hmm. have that mindset that supply yeah. chain is actually for for men. And not um, an environment for women, mm. which um, after studying supply chain and getting the integrated in supply chain, I found that it's not um, it's not really the case because uh, the 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 skills that a man can develop are the same skills that a woman mm. can develop in supply chain, and so I don't I don't see why there's the the gender gap mm. in the supply chain. So I I think that women should be. Uh, more encouraged to um, mm. to integrate such fields as uh, supply chain is being um, developed now with the technologies to uh, to ease the the environment mm. and uh, also with the with the issue of gender e uh, equality in um, in mm. companies more companies are are hiring more women now. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I I think unfortunately supply chain has a a sort of a reputation over the years for being about warehouses and trucks and, um, you know, what would you call it, a very industrial sort of career, whereas it's yeah. not at all, is it? I mean, like you say, with the technology and the planning aspects and, um, you know, I, I often say uh, one of the best run warehouses I think that I've ever been in is actually one here in Western Sydney, and that's run by a woman who does it amazingly well you know who you are if you're watching <laughs> so um, uh, yeah, no, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm always excited to see more women getting into the industry and doing really well in the industry which is fantastic so uh, yeah. I know in previous conversations you you had a great interest yeah. in um, digitization in the supply chain tell us a, a little bit about that what you've been exposed to and, and what you've learned about that uh, what I learned about uh, digitalization in uh, supply chain is uh, basically the, the importance and the, the impact that the digitalization has in supply chain. Mm. First of all, um, what, uh, what I understand by digitalization is the, the digital and innovative transformation of supply chain uh, processes and uh, which, um, which uh, brings... Um, um, which brings uh, optimization mm. in the supply chain processes and helps uh, many uh, companies in a um, in a speed and um, and cost reduction mm. because with the uh, with the uh, digitalization many companies uh, tend to to create a network among the the, the physical flow mm. and the and the data which uh, which uh, improves the which improves which improves the um, the the field of uh, mm. of work the 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 processes and the and the the way of of working. Mm. No, that that's fascinating. So you're you're just finishing your master's degree now in supply chain. Yeah. Uh, what what are going to be the next steps for you? I mean, what what sort of company are you hoping to work with, and on what type of roles, perhaps? Uh, the the companies I I would love to to work to would be um would be food uh, processing companies. Mm. Those are the the main companies that uh that I really got interested in. Mm. And but I I think being um in a supply chain with the with the experience that I had mm. uh helped me to to see that supply chain we can find supply chain in the, all the fields of industries. So mm. you can get adapted to um to any field mm. as i said i'm just uh, i'm just uh, starting my my path into supply chain yeah. and um i think with the with the skills that i that have 
that I've been able to develop, I can um, find myself in any field of supply chain, mm. and I and I will be able to uh, to adapt. Yeah, no, I I have a feeling we're uh, we're going to he- be hearing a lot about you in the future in supply chain. I I sense <laughs> that you're you're going to be going places and doing some amazing things. Um, so are, are there any sort of parts of the world that you're really focused on that you you'd like to work in in supply chain? You're you're from um, you're from West Africa. You've uh, you've been studying in France. Are you planning to maybe stay in Europe or or move elsewhere? Uh, I am planning to get a, a good experience in Europe mm. first, mm. and um, later go back to Africa and uh, yeah. and work in Africa. Yeah, in uh, right. any part of Africa. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. But to, no, look, yeah, I, but I wish you every success. Like I say, I'm sure you're going to be doing very well. We we had a chat a few days ago, and I know that you've um, started interviewing with some companies in Europe. Um, so best of yeah. luck with that. Maybe there's a company watching who uh, thinks, hang on, Ariane would be a great fit for our organization. So perhaps we'll put your LinkedIn link down below the video. <laughs> if you're very quick, you might be able to talk to Ariane before she gets snapped up. So uh, thank you for joining us today, Ariane. That's, that's an amazing journey. I, I, I'm kind of flabbergasted. I love that mix of law and supply chain, which I think is really going to set you up very well. So thanks for joining us. I uh, wish you the very best of luck for the future. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be lots of people watching this video who find your story quite inspiring. And, and particularly the ladies out there who might be thinking of, of supply chain as a career. Um, why not follow in fr- uh, Ariane's footsteps? So thanks for joining us. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you next week, folks. Oh, if you are new to the channel, uh, I'll just remind you that uh, we publish videos every Tuesday evening, Sydney time. Uh, and if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great. There's a, a button down there somewhere. Uh, and if you hit the bell, you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. And do provide some feedback down below, some questions, uh, maybe about supply chain careers, and maybe I'll get Ariane to answer some of those for you. So uh, thanks for joining us, Ariane. Bye for now. Uh, thank you, Rob. And uh, also thank you for all your, your videos that uh, inspire uh, students in supply chain like us to, uh, to get to know more about the supply chain careers and um, how we can we can start a, a career in supply chain because I, I watch a lot of videos from you and it really helps us to, uh, to get inspired oh. to get inspired for a supply chain one. You're, you're too kind, but I think we'll be watching videos of you in the future and I'll be learning something. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's keep in touch and we'll talk soon. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.